What's going on YouTube? This is Alex with Metastophicles Gaming and we are going to go ahead and open up another one of these nice uh, mystery boxes. Um, these are pretty cool. Definitely an awesome product just based off of the fact that I got some super dope cards in the last one that we opened. I grabbed two of these while I was at Target. This is the second one. Um, honestly wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, apparently you have a chance to get collector packs out of these. Um, say hi to Peach over here. She's visiting for this video. And so, I mean, it was really cool to see. $35 for this. You get two collector packs out of the last one, which, you know, kind of already makes it worth the cost. Um, so I'm very excited to see what we can get out of here as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into today's, uh, today's video. Go ahead and let's open each of these first. Kind of just ripping the box apart at this point. Alright, so this is the game piece, which is the die from the new Ixalan set. Um, so, okay. Cool, whatever. Uh, Sarah and Lisa. So it looks like these might be the same in every single one. Uh, we get a set booster of Phyrexia All Will Be One. Another set booster of Phyrexia All Will Be One. Another set booster. Uh, Crimson Vow Collector Booster. And I think this might be another Zendikar. Nope. Oh, Forgotten Realms Collector Booster. Okay. So it looks like maybe there's always collector boosters in here, or I'm just getting, you know, lucky on the packs that we're getting. Um, I love this set, so we're looking forward to opening those. And then we get two collector packs. I'm gonna start off with the Phyrexia All Will Be One, um, just because I wanna start off with the set boosters and work my way up to the collector boosters. I Honestly, there's some really cool cards in Phyrexia All Will Be One, so, Definitely don't mind getting a few of these packs. I think in set boosters you have a chance to get the concept praters. So uh, definitely a hope and a prayer to get those. We get Urtet, uh, Might Overseer, and Thrun. So pretty cool. I do like Urtet. I don't know that he's worth anything, but it was nice to see them finally print a, uh, a Mur Commander specifically. So I don't. I, I haven't built a Mur Commander deck yet. Um, but it's something I'm definitely interested in uh, because Urtet is a pretty cool card. Uh, we are going to get a Zenith Chronicler in this pack. So I like that card. It's useful when you're playing uh, mono-colored decks against people who, I mean, most people play multicolor, I think. It's a fair statement. So get some extra card draw off of that. And let's see what we can get in the last set booster here. Uh, Mercurial Spell Dancer and the Showcase Graz Unstoppable Juggernaut. So, not the greatest set boosters that we got there. Um, first, let's go ahead with Crimson Vow. So, let's open up this pack here. Uh, if I can get it open. Do they have one of those little tabs? No. Definitely sealed like Fort Knox. Alright, let's see. What can we get out of here? I do love these, uh, like, black and white style. Uh, we get a Lantern Flare, Sudden Salvation, Glorious Sunrise. Uh, we get a couple of those. Uh, we do get a Minna Harker, which is the some sort of universes beyond version of Talia. Uh, is it the, not the Walking Dead, uh, Evil Dead, maybe? I don't know. I'm not familiar with whatever that is, to be perfectly honest, so. Uh, but it is cool. Dahlia's a fun, you know, for the person playing it, card. Um, so, pretty cool. Rares in that one. 
Um, and I do actually want to take that swamp out because I love the look of those. And moving on to the final pack here, which is the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms collector pack. So I think not super familiar with this set. I know that Old Knobbone is probably one of the best cards you can pull. Um, so, you know, we're hoping for that. But there's plenty of other decent things in here. Little niche cards that uh, I've definitely come across that Savage. I need. Uh, we get Cloth's Will, Skeletal Swarming, Wish. And the showcase there in that, like, dungeon manual page. Um, I love that. Uh, Minsk, Beloved Ranger, and the Deck of Many Things. I actually, I think I wanted to put that into my, I'm trying to build a Mr. House deck that is based on just rolling dice, because why not? It seems fun and chaotic, um, but that's pretty cool. Uh, definitely, I, I haven't really opened many of these at all, so this is really cool to just see what you, know, what you can get out of here. Wish, probably not super useful for the formats that I play. Um, but other than that, I mean, they look really cool. I like this showcase treatment. No, I know not many people do, but you probably won't really see it again on any reprints. Um, and the deck of many things is just a pretty cool card. Um, so with that being said, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and we will catch you next time. And say bye bye Peach.